yeah hi hello everyone welcome to today's video this is shan Mugaraj. we are continuing our journey on safe tour today's topic is system architect and system engineering in large valley strips as you might already know as part of safe tour we are trying to discuss different components which are part of various configurations that are available as part of safe 5.1 we have started discussing elements of essential configuration we already discussed different elements like business technology agile teams and today also we are continuing system architect and engineering topic let us get into today's topic system architect a system engineering's participation in large value streams so far in my in my previous videos we discussed the role of or responsibilities of a system architect in the context of art this video is focusing about what are the additional responsibilities a system architect should have or should possess in the context of large value streams or large solution context so that's what we are trying to understand right so there are uh, five or six additional elements a system architect need to focus when it comes to the large value streams or large solutions the first one is collaborate with solution architect and engineering right in the context of art right so you may not need a frequent collaboration with the system i mean solution architect but when it comes to the large solution the collaboration with solution architect and engineering is very essential so system architect and engineering collaborate with solution architect and engineering to ensure discrete solution created by each art and supplier fit into and support larger capabilities and directions of the overall solution right so this involves participation in solution backlog refinement and prioritization defining enabler capabilities and efforts and assigning architectural responsibility to the various components and subsystems a description of this relationship between these roles and the role of enterprise architects can be found in the enterprise architect article right so i'll be putting a separate video about enterprise architect as well right so if you want to have a more idea you can refer that article anyway i'll be putting in that uh, additional video as well so what we are trying to say here is the collaboration with the solution architect and engineering is much more important when it comes to the largest solution second important additional aspect when it comes to the larger value stream is participating in pre and post pa planning right system architect uh, participate in pre pi planning events working with the solution trained stakeholders to define architectural approach capability roadmap and high level objectives for upcoming pi planning in the post pi planning event system architect helps to summarize the findings into an agreed to set of solution pi objectives and validates alignment of various art technical directions <clears throat> So how do they help when it comes to large solutions? If it is a pre-PA planning participation, a system architects to help the teams or a solution train in terms of architectural approach or capability roadmaps and everything. When it comes to the post-PA planning, they will validate you know, whatever they designed, whatever they desired in terms of you know, approach or a design or a solution context how does that works how does that validation works you know what are things work for us so accordingly you can desire your future architectural approaches when it comes to the you know future pis of different arts right so participation in pre and post pi planning is very very important when it comes to the context of large value streams third important aspect is participating in architect sync right so system architect and engineering participates in the architect sync to ensure consistency in how emerging designs and trade-offs are managed across the solution train 
allowing frequent opportunity to steer implementation approaches without becoming a source of delays right so your participation in architect sync is very important so that you are enabling the teams to take local design decisions right the fourth important aspect is participating in solution demo actually it's not about product demo they're talking about a solution demo right system architect or system engineering participates in the solution demo often demonstrating the capabilities of their arts that contributed and reviewing the contributions of other arts so taking a systemic view that's what very important taking a systems view with an eye toward a fitness for purpose so your participation of you know being a system architect is very very important to taking a systemic view when it comes to the solution for the customer the fifth one is collaborating with the release management right in a large scale system release management also play a significant role so system engineer or system architect collaborate with the product management and key stakeholders on progress budget release strategy and releasability of elements of the solutions very very important right final one is aligning technology approach approaches across arts actually right you should provide a, a common technology approach when it comes to multiple arts right so system architect engineering works actively with the agile teams to ensure that emergent design choices are made with an understanding of overall solution and minimize the technology complexity and avoid unnecessary duplication of capabilities right so these are the additional five or six responsibilities when it comes to the large value streams uh, with that we have come to the conclusion of today's video hope you got a fair idea what are the additional responsibilities or additional habits a system architect or system engineering need to take care of when it comes to the context of large value streams or large solutions right so hope you guys like these kind of videos if you like that please you know uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you are helping to spread across you know so the people who are needing you know they are putting their efforts in agile or they are trying to build an agile career so definitely it will be very useful to them as well okay so with that i'm signing off today take care bye bye see you tomorrow